Hi everybody, Steve here at Mount Sinai Memorial Park in the Hollywood Hills, and I just found the final resting place or niche, cremation niche, of actor David Groh. He's, gosh, about halfway up this wall here. I don't know if you can see. And it took me, it took me quite a bit of time to find his niche. All I had was one small picture to go by. The cemetery is not huge, so I've just been looking around for about an hour or two, and I'm glad I was able to finally find his final resting place. So I added a GPS for those of you who might also want to visit in person. It'll make it just a little bit easier to do. So how many of you were fans of the Rota show and how many of you remember just what a popular show that was? It was groundbreaking in, in so many ways and it broke so many television records as far as viewership. It was hugely popular. I had forgotten just how popular it was. I'm going to get out the sun here. It's so bright. Hopefully you can still see me in the shade here, but boy, that sun was just right in my eyes. So if you're a fan of the show, then you remember that actor David Groh played Joe Girard. And when Joe and Rhoda Morgenstern got married, it was sort of the event of the year on TV. And it broke all viewership records, or almost all. Only one other TV show had ever had as many viewers watching a single episode. And that was back in 1953 when Little Ricky was born on the I Love Lucy show. So the wedding special of Rhoda was only second to that I Love Lucy episode. Nearly 72 million Americans watched that I Love Lucy episode and nearly 52 million viewers watched Rhoda's wedding episode. But I have to qualify that a little bit. If you do a search online, which I just did, you discover the ratings information varies dramatically depending on the source. So I think these figures were referring to TV sitcoms. Other news events and sporting events, like the annual Super Bowl and the Olympics, have received many more views. And it's funny because one online source says that the finale of MASH received 50 million views, and another source said 105 million views. So whether it was number 2 or number 5 or number 10 in the ratings, Rhoda's Wedding was definitely one of the most watched episodes in TV history. Do you remember watching it? I do. And it would be fun to see it again, but I can't find it on any of the streaming services. It only seems to be available now on DVD. If you're not familiar with the series, it ran for five seasons from 1974 to 1978, and the wedding took place on the eighth episode of the first season. The show itself was a spinoff from the Mary Tyler Moore Show, where Valerie Harper played Rhoda Morgenstern, Mary's neighbor and good friend. In this first of many spin-offs from the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Rhoda decides to leave Minneapolis and move back home to New York to be close to her sister and parents, and that's when she meets and marries Joe Girard. And I'm happy to say that one of the central cast members is still alive. Actress Julie Kavner, who played Rhoda's younger sister, Brenda Morgenstern, is now 70 years old and still working. In 1989, Kavner began voicing the role of Marge Simpson, on the popular animated series The Simpsons, which is still on the air today. She won an Emmy Award for her role as Brenda on the Rota series, and also won an Emmy for Outstanding Voiceover Performance on The Simpsons. Their mother on the show, Ida Morgenstern, was played by actress Nancy Walker. She died in nearby Studio City from lung cancer on March 25, 1992, at the age of 69. She was cremated and her ashes were scattered, so she has no final resting place to visit. Over the years, she was a regular on five other TV series, but she once said that she got the role of Ida Morgenstern because of her commercials for Bounty Paper Towels. She was their TV spokesperson from 1970 to 1990. Rhoda's father, Martin Morgenstern, was played by actor Harold Gould. He died from prostate cancer in Woodland Hills, California on September 11, 2010, at the age of 86. He was also cremated and has no final resting place to visit. Ron Silver, who had a recurring role as Gary Levy on the show, died in New York City from esophageal cancer on March 15, 2009, at the age of 62. He's laid to rest at Westchester Hills Cemetery in New York. Ray Buktanika played Benny Goodwin, another recurring character on the show, and he's now 77 years old. Kenneth McMillan, who played Rhoda's boss, Jack Doyle, on the show, died from liver disease in Santa Monica, California, on January 8, 1989, at the age of 56. The location of his gravesite is unknown. Voice actor Lorenzo Music, who played the unseen character Carlton the Doorman, died in Los Angeles from lung and bone cancer on August 4, 2001, at the age of 64. 
He was cremated and his ashes were scattered at sea. Mount Sinai Memorial Park is here on the north side of the Hollywood Hills. So next I'm going to drive south over the hills to downtown Hollywood and the Hollywood Forever Cemetery where Valerie Harper is laid to rest. It's about 10 to 15 minutes from here depending on the time of day and traffic. She died less than a year and a half ago and I just happened to visit her gravesite the day after she was buried and her headstone was just placed a few months ago so I thought you might like to see it. Her gravesite overlooks the beautiful pond and central feature of the cemetery and you can even see the Hollywood sign off in the distance. It's one of the best locations here in the park and it looks like her husband or family members are creating a beautiful memorial garden to surround her headstone. And it's really nice to see that they've added her photo to her grave marker as well. Harper died from cancer here in Los Angeles on August 30th, 2019 at the age of 80. During her long and very celebrated career, she appeared in nearly 300 stage productions, movies, and television episodes. And it's no surprise that she won four Emmy Awards for playing the character Rhoda over the years, starting on the Mary Tyler Moore Show and then on the spinoff. And it's really nice to see that she chose to be buried here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, where all of her fans can easily come to visit and remember her. The section here where she's laid to rest is called the Garden of the Legends, and she certainly was an entertainment legend. I'll continue panning around here so you can see a little bit more of this section, just in case you missed my first visit to her gravesite here back in 2019. Do any of you have a favorite memory or a favorite episode from the Rhoda series? If so, please share with us in the comment section. And just a heads up, in case you do leave a comment, please don't leave your email address or a link to a website or any link at all. Or YouTube will just automatically put it in the spam folder and then after a few days it just automatically gets deleted. Links often include computer viruses and other malware, so they're just automatically deleted. I really do appreciate all of your comments and I'd hate to have some of them deleted without me even seeing them just because you accidentally included a link or your email address within the comment. This week I want to thank my newest Patreon supporters, Allison Martin, William B. Earl, and Matthew Salardo. Thank you so much, Allison, William, and Matthew, for your generous donations to my channel. I appreciate it and it means a lot. If you enjoyed today's blast of the past, I hope you'll join me in another one by clicking and watching this video here. So until our next trip down memory lane together, thanks for sharing the memories everybody.